Hi, welcome everyone. Welcome to Golden Applets Aviation. My name is Victor and I'm associated with Golden Applets. So today we have special guest with us, Captain Tomar Avdesh. So today we'll discuss some of the important topics with uh, our uh, Captain Tomar Avdesh. And so let's start, sir. Uh, so sir, first, my first question is, like if someone has completed their commercial pilot license and after that they have done their type rating as well. Okay. And suppose they get a job in some of the airlines so sir what is the process after that what is the timeline according to you okay so if you already got a job let's say you've been placed in any commercial airlines especially mm -hmm. i don't talk about non scheduled operator but if you talk about scheduled airline mm -hmm. so generally uh, it depends on individual also but overall, if you are in a company like Indigo, you should be getting command close to five five years or something. Okay. Uh, close to five years, you will from, say initially, you will join as a junior first officer or trainee first officer. Okay. Thereafter, you will be released as a first officer. Then probably within a couple of years, you will reach a position called SFO, senior first officer. Okay. Which is basically once your ATPL is issued. Mm -hmm. there are, uh, so that should take maximum of three years roughly. Okay. And another two years to complete your PIC com uh, um, requirement. There are certain requirements that so many hours should be PIC and so many hours should be as instrument, night and all that. Okay. Certain requirement. So from that three years when you, be you become SFO, Generally, to two years, you should get a command. So overall, five years is a figure. But I have seen some people, they have done it in four years or so. How like, it depends, like if you are there, you are flying, mm -hmm. you will fly whatever your roster is, whatever your flying requirement, you will take rest on your weekly off or otherwise you will take offs in between. Kuchlo mm -hmm. Jo, they are in race. They just want to finish off their command as soon as possible. So, okay. they don't have a flight today. What they'll do, they'll call somebody, some of your colleague, ki, okay. take my flight. Uh, you can swap a flight with me, with off. Ki off, I have a flight. 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 Oh, wow. So this is how they fl they keep flying all the way and some of them is really behind this and have done in four years or so. So that also varies individual to individual but overall five years, five and a half is a good uh, uh, land, uh, ballpark figure in terms of time. Once you get command thereafter, it will take, now it depends how you are into studies and all that because thereafter post comes line training captain. Mm -hmm. So basically line training captain is one who trains new first officers mm -hmm. and the commanders for their command upgrade from F4 to captains. Okay. So you become LTC that should take another three, uh, three to four years and depending on the exam because there are internal exam by the company. There are interview as well for LTC. So again, three to, depending on the individual three to four years that takes. Okay. Post LTC, then comes your first designation, which is DGCA authorized. That's your type rating instructor. Okay. So that's over in uh, line training captain. So he does base checks. Agar aapne suna hoga ki ap, once you are done with your, uh, once you get the job, mm -hmm. after that, you do six takeoff and landing in the whole aircraft. Pe. Yes, yes. Wo yes. Bhi, wo, uh, type rating instructor hi kara sakta. Usko okay. LTC nahi kara sakta. Okay. Hmm. Then, uh, captains ki bhi training wo karate hai kuch. Simulator pe, in India, every six months you have a simulator check. Before simulator check, there is a training. Okay. So basically two days, you have sim for two days. One, you are doing training. Mm -hmm. Next day, you are giving check. Okay. So these type rating instructor also trains you during the end that simulator. Okay. And it is a DDC designated job. Okay. 
uh, it takes some time in your career it's uh, that's the job which takes time to get that designation and finally you all know that after that you becomes de designated examiner uh, and that is again a dgc job and the topmost job in flying career basically okay he is the one who does your pi uh, your simulator ir check lr check your uh, pic release check Okay. That is done by designated examiners. Okay. okay. So that that's how you pro progress in your in your entire career. Okay. Some of but not everybody wants to go into training. So some of them happy flying as a line captain, normal okay. captain. Don't they don't want to take this uh, line training, this training, that training. They're happy flying a line. Hey, yeah. and so so salary is also varies with that. Like, is it? Yeah, yeah. See, um, if you are um, like really behind that, ki how how fast I progress. If you get job command in three four years or something or less, four years basically. That's mm, not too early actually. No, four. Uh, so you start getting some uh, somewhere five lakh something. then you become senior commander it increases some uh, one and half lakh something post that once you become ltc and all then it keep increasing that way so that's interesting actually yeah. that's fortunate actually and sir uh, like any any excited thing like you want to share about in aviation like any excited experience exciting thing yes. happening yes. Uh, yes the what i am very i mean i'm very interested about mm -hmm. is this new air taxi this is oh. uh this electrical vertical take off and landing aircraft uh you must have heard about uh, air taxi yes sir actually last night only i was reading newspaper so yeah. i have uh, like read over so, there this. i mean recently it was yeah. in newspaper dgc has uh, recently mm -hmm. has put out the guidelines how okay. this electrical vertical takeoff and landing aircraft will be used in india okay. how the the heli helipad of this is looked like mm -hmm. uh how the taxi way should be what should be the other requirement they have they have put out just recently and the best thing is that this is that there are two companies in the world mm -hmm. agar aap dekhoge aaj se 15 saal pehle हमने देखा था टीवी में आता था एयर टैक्सी फ्लाइंग इन समवेयर न्यूज में आता था ऐसा वी यूज्ड टू थिंक कि ये क्या है बट टुडे इट्स अ रियलिटी इट्स हैपनिंग एंड द फॉर्चुनेट पार्ट इज कि इन इंडिया वी वर लाइक टेक्नोलॉजी कम्स 10 टू 15 इयर्स लेटर हियर 15 साल इफ इट कम्स इन यूएस टुडे इट विल कम 10 टू 15 इयर्स लेटर इन इंडिया बट नाउ दिस इज अ most exciting thing here that there are two companies in the world who are actually into manufacturing this e uh, electric uh, vertical take off and landing aircraft okay one is jovi aviation and other is called archer aviation okay and uh, they plan to launch operations in 2000 uh, operations should be launched in 2025 it requires a certification from the fa and fa gives five step certification basically you have to fulfill five step to get a certification and uh, this uh, they got already three of them and they have done a trial flight roughly for uh, 3000 miles or something they have already done flying and best part is with archer aviation indigo has signed a mou okay. means uh, and which basically means indigo is planning to get them as before at the same time where it start in us there are they are only only starting as of now us united air has placed a order united airline it is right united airline yeah. yes united airline has placed order for 200 uh, e vertical take off and landing aircraft okay. and we in this india interglobe in not indigo interglobe the parent company of indigo they have signed moi with uh, mou with archer aviation okay and they are also getting it in partnership in india even before anywhere else in the world mm, except yeah. two three places mm. 
and it will change the entire landscape of urban mobility mm. think in traffic mm. <laughs> if you have to go from uh, not place to gurgaon mm. it takes roughly 1 hour 2 hours something mm. yeah it takes 5 to 6 minute mm. and it's not something very hugely costly mm. it if it is interglobe it is getting it here it will be affordable mm. and the best part is archer aviation which they are the aircraft which they are designed that is for urban mobility means you will have range is roughly 100 nautical mile or 150 km you say so that is entire it covers city 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 okay. i mean city to some other place then some other place to inside the city okay. but jav aviation they their range is somewhere 200 uh, km or more wow so means it's not just urban mobility mm. it will also feed some uh, nearby locations oh. this is the best and hmm. demand is india is such a uh, big ca- country i mean in terms of population crowded hmm. you can have hundreds of electrical uh, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft hmm. all over <laughs> that will not only create employment because it see it needs one pilot and four passenger it can hmm. have three passenger it can accommodate hmm. and one pilot so you can have uh, i mean this will be game changing it mm. it is expected to come in india in 2006 something mm. so i am really excited about this <laughs> i want to see how does it how it pans out mm. everything is already set up things mm. is already in now dgc has issued circular and that has issued after interglobe has signed mou with the archer aviation okay. that means there are things which is already going on okay. and it is not a um, it won't take much when it will roll out Wow. and it's very exciting space to look for and opportunities for new people wow so that's actually interesting that's very interesting and uh, go go google it you will find you will find video of the flying it's amazing you love that flying okay and sir out of curiosity one question is there like these air taxis will be covered by the airlines only ah uh, no not necessarily okay. it's you it any businessman can start see okay. it just but normally the pilot generally would be trained mostly either the person who is who flies for helicopter okay because see it's similar vertical to that take-off. vertical take off okay. so initially what i feel is training may be done by the helicopter places where helicopter are trained okay but over the period of time you will find multiple places opening okay. a new uh, eco- uh, ecosystem altogether Mm, so sir, it will be like pilot only who will uh, yeah, fly or drive whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's pilot. It's See, pilot. pilot would be flying okay. and three passenger. So total four. Oh, wow. uh, that's what uh, over the um, maybe it will change over the period of time. This is the first time when the in this shape it is coming. Other thing is noise is he hai. Usme noise nahi hai. Battery se jalta hai. I mean, it's just amazing. Il and the kind of traffic is growing. Traffic, देखो आप एक जगह से दूसरे जगह पी कास में तीन तीन घंटे लग जाते हैं सर नाउ एवरीबॉडी दीज डेज व्हाट मैटर्स इज द टाइम नो एआई इज देयर फॉर सम अदर वर्क सो मेनी थिंग्स हैज कम अप नाउ एवरीबॉडी व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज योर टाइम इफ यू वेस्ट 3 टू 4 इयर्स 3 इयर्स टू सॉरी 3 इयर्स 2 इयर्स बाय कम्यूटिंग लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई एम श्योर विल बी विलिंग टू पे दैट Two thousand, three thousand, whatever they charge. Mm-hmm. I think initially they are starting first stop from Knott Place CP to Gurga. Oh, really? So oh, I will really? be come definitely taking that one <laughs> once. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, so that's uh, that's most exciting thing as of now mm-hmm. coming in aviation uh, because these normal things obviously uh, aviation is growing faster. Mm-hmm. uh and uh, aircraft is coming at re- much rapid speed those are normal things which is already happening this mm-hmm. is something which is very new and it can create a big impact they are also tying up with the uh, this guy uh, uber okay so that so they want to make it accessible to everybody mm-hmm. if it is on uber platform i'm sure everybody has uber mm-hmm. so it is accessible also mm-hmm. 
कई बार होता है ना आपकी फ्लाइट छूट गई बोले मेरी मेरी फ्लाइट इस टाइम थी लेट हो गया ट्रैफिक फंस गया अब आपको अगर टेंशन लेट भी हो गया ना तो आपको पास वो ऑप्शन होएगा ओके लेट्स बुलाना ऑब्वियसली दिस विल हैव अ पर्टिकुलर प्लेसेस ओके इट्स नॉट इट कांट बी गो गोइंग एवरीवेयर इट विल हैव अ पर्टिकुलर जैसे हेलीपैड होता है लैंडिंग लैंडिंग फैसिलिटी ओके लैंडिंग पॉइंट्स एंड टेक ऑफ पॉइंट्स दोस विल बी डिफाइंड ओके इन अ पर्टिकुलर मैनर इट्स नॉट के कार लेके कहीं पे भी कि कहीं भी लैंड कर गए हां Okay. Yes, it doesn't Definitely. need space. Mm-hmm. Just a small space required. Oh, okay. Helipad, see, so can be found there. Similar to that. Wow, <laughs> much lighter. Yeah. Great, sir. Uh, so, thank you so much for this podcast. We'll come back with sir again for some with some interesting questions. Yeah, and keep watching this space. I'm telling you, it's very interesting. Sure, sir. Sure. I'll next time I'll come back with some more knowledge on this, and yeah. I'll try to brief you again. Oh, okay. okay. So guys thank you so much for watching this video do like share and subscribe and keep watching us for some more updates thank you